Yo, what's going on guys? DJS here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a deals video from the Nike factory stores. I ended up hitting up two of them this last weekend, and basically it was friends and family weekend, which means 30% off of anything in the store, anything regular priced, or anything on the hash wall. So lots of crazy deals uh, that, uh, that I ended up seeing. I want you guys to do me a favor, leave some comments. If you went to the factory store and if you saw any deals, or even better, hit me up on Instagram or Twitter. Let me know the deals that you found at the factory stores. Uh, but these are some of the ones that I ended up seeing there. There was just a whole bunch of randomness uh, from two different ones. There's some Air Jordan 28 SEs for 109 minus uh, the 30%, uh, which is just super cheap. Also, the foam posit PRMs 130 for the Asteroid foams, but 130 minus uh, the $40 or whatever it is. So they were like 90 something dollars um, for, uh, I mean, th those retailed, I think, at 250 So that was a super steal uh, on those ones. Nike Freeze for $70 with the. 30% off. I wish I had all the math broken down. $99 uh, on these ones, so 30% off of that. Uh, so these ones were $70 for these Air Max 2015s. If they had my size, I would have picked them up. Um, I did not see any of my size, though, unfortunately. Um, some random Air Jordan 1s and uh, some Air Trainer 2 PRM Quick Strikes, if you guys don't remember these ones. Uh, these ones were $70. That was a pretty darn good deal on these ones as well. That's pretty much employee store prices on some of these random open box items in the back. They didn't have too many sizes of those ones, though. Um, Maverick Mids for $54, and uh, obviously the 30% off of those as well. Lunar Glide 5s for $80, uh, which isn't too much uh, of a, st a savings, but then with a crazy discount on top of that uh, makes it worth it. Also, these ones, normally $170. That's $100 off of retail for the Flyknit uh, Chuckas, uh, one of my favorite shoes. And uh, the Nike Flyknit Lunar 2s for $60. Minus 30% off was just crazy, crazy cheap. Uh, another pair uh, for $60 right here, uh, the, the free 5.0s. You guys know I'm a fan of those. I have about three pairs of those myself. Nike Flight 8 Lunar 3s. I wish they had my size in these. 120 uh, minus the uh, the 30% off is a pretty darn good deal if you ask me. Um, I don't know what that equals, but $36 off, which is pretty, pretty good. Pippins for $70. 70 times 30% uh, off is $21 off, and the Flyknit Lunar 2s for $60 times 30% off is $18 off. So, I mean, just crazy. That's $18 off. That's like $42 for those Flyknit Lunar 2s. Uh, really, really good prices. Um, those uh, those Futures were there. These Air Force One Comforts uh, were super cheap and uh, not a bad colorway, actually, for this one. I remember seeing the other one last time, but not that one. Um and eighty dollars for these just random kind of basketball shoes, and I'll keep it rolling. Though there's just so much. The no so um, for hundred and ten, so hundred and ten times thirty percent is thirty three dollars off of that. And Air Pegasus retail price on these ones. These are the N sevens, uh, so but they were thirty percent off of the the retail price uh, of that of what, the eighty five dollars or whatever. Just some random Air Max lights. They always have some kind of random Air Maxes, but seventy dollars also. The box price isn't always the price that they have on the wall, so sometimes they're cheaper, uh, as you'll see in, in some of these pictures, uh, which is kind of cool how they, they ended up doing that and even dropping it even lower. Um, like these ones say 89 and then on the here it says they're actually uh, 79 so it was $10 savings on top of the 30%. So Nike Dunk Lows, uh, $50 on those ones, as you can see right there. So $50 times 30% um, is uh pretty cheap fifteen dollars thirty five dollars of those dunks was which one those one ended up being um lunar prestos seventy dollars minus thirty percent uh not a bad deal I, I almost got these ones just the color they didn't have the hits of pink i just wanted the, the kind of the gray and orange i never did get a pair of the lunar presto you would have think i would have got them 150 for these minus thirty percent forty four dollars so 110 or 105 on those uh, copper fly posits, which I always wanted, but seeing them in person, they're just so not worth it. So I didn't end up picking them up because I just really don't like the way that they came out. The materials are really bad. The the hair, um, or the the, what are the horse hair or whatever, LeBron's pretty cheap. Uh, little pennies, they also had, um, they had these ones for 80 minus the 30% off. So whatever that equals. Um, and then obviously the camo ones as well, so $24 off of that. And uh, I'm trying to calculate as this thing's flickering, like the screen across the screen every four seconds. It's crazy. Uh, Nike Gato 2s, these ones are actually pretty sick. 
uh, if you ask me, look at where these ones are. Check these out. These soles on those ones, I've never seen anything like those ones. Um, I like that camo sole though quite a bit. Then the the Zoom General Fields for eighty dollars. Um, so that's uh, twenty four dollars off of the, these. Pretty good price, fifty six dollars if you add that up. Uh, not a bad price at all. And uh, just keep it moving. There's another colorway of those ones. Kind of a random shoe right here. I uh, just shown you all the different things. Court Force Low, fifty bucks. I think it was actually cheaper on the previous screen. I can't remember. Uh, KD Tray Fives. These this colorway is actually pretty sick. Um, and I've never seen these in person. I was actually really impressed in person. Uh, the details on this uh, this one are really nice. And then check out the the back tab. This back tab was pretty crazy. Uh, huge like rubber sole on it. Pretty pretty wild. They also had some KD Seven. So one hundred and thirty times thirty percent off is thirty eight dollars. So these were like ninety something dollars uh, for these ones and I didn't notice that there was a lot of detail on those ones as well and then they also had the the Air Max um, LeBron Lowe's the lava colorway here or whatever you want to call them uh, so just under a hundred dollars on those ones these ones are still pretty expensive for the LeBron 11's they're really hanging on to them trying to hope for the, the best at 179 you know you can get them on eBay for a lot cheaper than that uh, these ones were hundred and thirty dollars so hundred and thirty times thirty percent thirty eight dollars off on those ones I mean that's crazy like eighty nine dollars or whatever I'm not I'm not good at math you guys are gonna be calling me out this whole entire time but I'm just trying to whip through the video um, these amp trainers really pretty nice actually as well ones that I was like dang the quality these are really nice the the silver material looked really uh, really fun uh, on that one and some CJ trainer twos for 70 bucks uh, as you can see here I actually like this uh, model this one it looked a lot uh, better in person than you could see um, it, just from looking at it, I guess the lunar uh, trainer ones, and they had a couple of these uh, duck colorways for ninety dollars plus thirty percent off. These ones are on Nike clearance for the longest time online. Um, anyway, Air Max two thousand thirteens for just under a hundred dollars, and then these ones are a hundred and twenty. Uh, so that what is that thirty five dollars off of uh, that? Pretty good price. Was that eighty five dollars or something like that? I'm really testing my math skills here. It's funny these ones are now 140, and on the back wall they were on, they were on sale for 70 or whatever it was. So finding that one random uh, price was worth it if you got that one open box. But the rest of them were 140. Interestingly enough, I don't know why that was. I don't know. I don't think anybody uh, swapped the shoes in the box, but maybe somebody did do that. Uh, these ones again are 120, and so some of this might be a little bit of overlay uh, or overlap because I did hit up. Uh, two stores so some of them had the same shoes at, at a different store the, look at the co uh, color and quality of these things really really crazy for the price on those things and the women's free fly net check us for 110 um, again leave some comments let me know if you guys got anything or hit me up on twitter and let me know what you guys picked up these ones are again at a different store i think there were 50 at one and 55 in another which was kind of crazy these air jordan ones are actually pretty sick as well they're the retro 86s which is the air jordan 2 air jordan 1 combinations um, and then these were, I think, for the love hate, a Hirachi pack right here uh, for uh, eighty nine dollars plus the uh, the discount there. Air Bacon's uh, for eighty, and they were cheaper last time I saw them. I remember like fifty five or something like that. But eighty plus the thirty percent is not a bad price at all. Sonic flights are, are crazy enough for one hundred and ten. I swear I've seen these for like eighty bucks or something. And this is the one where I'm like, I can't believe I didn't buy these. These ones were eighty dollars times 30% off is $23 off. I didn't buy those Peyton um, gloves because of the line. If the, the And I was in a hurry. I had to meet some friends uh, for a happy hour and stuff. Otherwise, I would have. And these uh, flight lights, 70 bucks minus the 30% off also. That's $21. That's $50, uh, $49 on those is a super steal. I love those flight lights, and I know that nobody else really likes them, but it's dope for me to be able to see those ones come back. Um, in a somewhat originalish colorway, um, the Air Vandals. That's another one that I've been saying that that are just bound to do a uh, a reboot and have like some super hype releases of an Air Vandal. I'd like to see a Dornbecker Air Vandal and have everybody go crazy because it's just a dope model. But uh, it's just people just feel like it's generic. Some randomness. They had some Flyknit Roshis there, uh, which were pretty darn cheap as well, considering uh, as much of this thirty percent off uh, dealio thing. And these ones were again 150. I think that was the same price as the other ones. I don't remember. You guys probably know. Yeah, I think that was right. About 150. And Flyknit Chukas. Some of these ones were cheaper than the others, 
at some places. These ones are the FSBs, though, and they were 150 plus 30 percent off. And then the Blazer Mids, just random uh, things that they ended up having here. These were some pretty nice gems, though. 170, uh, so they're 51 dollars off. So 120 dollars uh, for these uh, Kobe Tens. That would have been a pretty good price uh, on those ones. Then they also had the red um, Flyknit Chukka FS. Bs uh, for 140 plus the uh, 149 plus the 20 percent off, and then they also had another colorway of the Flyknit um, Roshis, and which I actually haven't had a pair of those ones. I really do need to try those ones out. I just haven't got them uh, in my possession yet. And sorry for the fuzzy pictures. I was just running through like as it was so packed. They had these Comfort Dunks, uh, which I actually really like these ones. I saw them online. The pictures look pretty good. These Air Stabs were ones that I probably would have got as well. Uh, just because I really like the premium look of these air stabs, and I'm a big fan of the air stabs, even though I haven't bought any of the new ones in recent times. But uh, but those ones would have been 70 bucks, uh, would have been a good buy. These I also another pair that I really want to get, just because the premium looking leather on them looks really nice. Um, KD uh, Seven uh, Lifestyles for what was it, 70 dollars on those, and then for 60 dollars times the 30 percent off, 18 dollars off of that uh, for those Tech Challenge. And Air Diamond Turfs. These ones are really rad for the tur turfs. The kind of the baseball look to these. Really pretty cool. I don't remember seeing these uh, before. But the price was really, really cheap on those. And that's pretty much it. Rounding out the rest of the video. Some Air Maxes and some what. Uh, I think some more Air Maxes. But uh, leave some comments. Let me know if you guys like this video. Um, give the video some thumbs up if you guys did watch the entire thing. Appreciate you guys for listening to me ramble as we watch all of the sh uh, sneakers I saw. But appreciate you guys' support. We'll catch you guys later. Peace.